All right, guys, welcome back to the stream of Ghostbusters, the video game remastered from 2009. This is the second video in the series. We did the Sedgwick, the first part of the game, in the last video. You can check that out on the channel. Also, on the podcast, I just reviewed Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 yesterday. You can find that on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, and Amazon Music. Uh, just look up Ticket Stubs and Cassette Tapes. You'll see our podcast there. Check out all our stuff. The second episode of Ecto Radio, um, um, excuse me, Ecto One Radio, uh, will come out a week from today, next Sunday. Um, so looking forward to that one. You can check out the last episode on the channel as well. All right, let's let's hop back into uh, the game here. Times Square. All right, I talked about on the last video that it's been a while since I've played this game, so I remembered a lot about the the Sedgwick level. It's going to be interesting to see what I remember the rest of the way here. Good old stay puff. Wasn't me this time, I swear it. Pull it together, Ray. What do we have that can stop that cheap confection? I love this level, just being able to walk through the city with the Ecto one and stay puffed right there, but like as far as a Ghostbusters game where you're getting to walk the streets of New York. The Ecto One driving next to you. That's really cool. I suppose it could. But a muon trap of this capacity has never been used or even tried before. Yeah, this is I remember this, the super slammer, it's the trap they installed on top of the Ecto one A. What is this? That's the Ecto one B, okay. And the rendering of this still looks really good. They did a good job on the remaster. Get in there. Let's we'll see. Super Slammer. The way stronger pull. There is Peter's uh, Peter's photo in the top right corner. There it looks a little odd. Where's he at? Oh, there he was. I missed him completely. Help. Thank you. Ow. That was, that was ow there. Help me. I dreaded you when you were alive. You were. be a nice job for Ray and Egon just getting to sit in the car while we <laughs> capture the ghosts. 
this feels like the kind of event where we need as many people out here helping as possible though Oh yeah, I forgot I'm supposed to scan these things. Oh yeah, look at that trap. Oh, the gargoyles. Yeah, I forgot about this. These were cool. They had a really a good amount of creative design on uh, on a lot of the ghosts in this game. Stuff that you really saw more of in uh, like the real Ghostbusters. Uh, let's see. Now, if I do remember correctly, let me move my mic here. If I do remember correctly, at some point here, pretty soon they'll introduce, I think, the boson dart. I remember that being a big part of the game. Oh man, we're all down. Coming, fellas. we not done any damage to these ghosts we're getting ripped up right now I'm gonna focus on these two Slam him. Oh, this isn't good. He's shooting at me. Hey, over here, little help. Yo, little help. Nobody messing with the kid. I just don't love, like I mentioned in the last video, I don't love the slam animation. I kind of, I get it, but I think it could have been done a, a little better. I don't really have many complaints about this game. I mean, it is a fantastic. It's one of my favorite video games ever made. It's a super well made video game. And like I said, I much prefer this Proton stream animation, like to the one in Spirits Unleashed, personally, and the trap animation. I think they they're both a little bit more what they look like in the movies. Good time. And I thought it couldn't become any harder to get around Manhattan. Any ideas? 
Well, we're not getting through that way now. Hey, cut through this alley. We might be able to head off Stay Puft. We need to find a way around this mess. See, it's either you or Egon, Ray, Winston. I've had just about enough of the marshmallow parade. Let's go see if we can find us a shortcut. You with me? I'm with you. Spooky and clothesline fresh. Are you kidding me? Haunted laundromat? Come in, Winston. like our ticket that tank is leaking gas all over the place that is a serious safety hazard man i wanted to test these first but since we're waiving that safety step today anyway you should be aware that i modified the neutrona wand which normally releases the particle stream wow it's like christmas game early earlier than what yeah i remember christmas these things oh man Santa came to my house dressed as Dracula. Uh, you're lighting the gas on fire i'm trying to pick my trap up you guys might want to stand back how far exactly well my my ghost trap's gonna get destroyed. It survived. Do I still have eyebrows? Sample, sample. I said way back. See, I just love these the city streets of New York being able to play in that as a Ghostbuster. I would love for them to do some of this kind of stuff in the some of the movies, the newer movies they're gonna make. I just have some Ghostbuster stuff in the streets of New York at night time. It'd be really cool. A high expansion rapid cycle multiple ghost absorber. It's faster and larger than our portable units. Am I in jeopardy? Is this a big enough stick to roast this guy? Okay, okay. Potentially, but our exposure to interdimensional deities has been only marginal to date, so it would be wise to anticipate some error. Somebody needs a Ghostbuster. And I wish I could drive the Ecto one. Oh, see if I can shoot him from here. Nope. <laughs> okay, great crabs. <laughs> oh, I remember this. Okay. Opera ghost. Shut down when the stage caught fire and killed the cast. I read the review. Oh, the humanity. I had to say that. That's right. Ruthless producer. They just reopened it last week. It's crackling. There must be something really bad about this place. Black slime. Grab a full scan. Good idea. We should probably have a look around. Guess that means we're not alone. Yep. These are unusual flux patterns. Whoa, wait! Don't touch that. That's what I thought. Black slime. Black slime is a hazardous form of ectoplasmic residue. Toxic to both body and soul. It's very dangerous. Egon and I haven't developed clothes and boots sufficient enough to insulate against the negative psychokinetic effects of this stuff yet, so be careful. In other words, the stains don't ever come out. All right. What are we like? Oh. Watch yourself. Uh -oh. Where'd she go? Am I supposed to scan her? Peter, you better take her. What's that supposed to mean? I'm a chubby chaser? I take out one oh. pump girl, a blind date, like her personality, and you guys can't let it go. I like how that cyclotron shoots out whenever you overheat. That's cool. Oh, 
Alright, get in there. These things are annoying. I'm gonna get rid of that one. Oh man, should have held on to her. Got her. Happens when I shoot her with a ozone dart. Knocks her health down quite a bit. <laughs> it's a really awkward way to fall down. More of these guys. Bring him in. Get a full scan. Look out above you. That's a nice start. Let's get her in here. Cool. I like that. Like I said, I like the creative design of the ghosts. Times Square, post urban renewal, all shiny and clean. I love it. Say, is that you? It's hard to miss. Egon, how close do we have to get the big trap to reel him in? A lot closer than this. Let's see if we can. Something or someone. <laughs> if you can see behind me, the streets are in absolute chaos. Authorities are doing everything they can to quell the panic and maintain order. It is madness out here. The Stay Puft Marshmallow Man, star of the popular children's television show, is on a rampage. There's no way this Stay Puft business would not go out of business. <laughs> After the 84 uh, cross rip plus this. We need to get from here to there. Make sure the big boy doesn't find whatever he's looking for. Good strategy. It's dangerous though. That's a lot of open ground to cover. All right, sport. Looks like it's me and you. Let's go across Times Square and get into the building Stay Puft is so interested in. You guys keep him off us if you think you can. Shoot him in the face. Keep moving. Oh, this is It's getting really close, Ray. Keep away from those feet. He'll stop you with the jelly. Those on darts should do the trick. Well, those on darts would be nice, but he is standing 20 feet away from us. Did it though? He, he didn't seem affected. Shoot him right in the face. Oh. How convenient. Thank you. Stick close to me and as far away from him as you can. Oh. 
This is genuinely kind of scary. Bankman, we've got to distract him. Bankman, are you getting caught? Bankman's getting caught. Bozon will loosen him up. Ray. Right in the bow tie. Let's go with a face shot. There we go. Oh yes, I guess I should scan him. I can't scan him. There's our way in. Break for it. Rip. The professionals are here. Everybody calmly make no sudden movements. What the keep it going? Oh, he didn't find what he was looking for on the bottom floors. Come on, we've got to get to the top floors. This is super immersive in the Ghostbusters world. I sort of forget I'm streaming here. I have to remind myself every few seconds. All full, going up. Uh, he uh, just passed gas. Catch the next one. Relax, sir. We handle foul vapors all the time. Let's stay in for lunch, you said. Why leave the building, you said. It'll be quiet, you said. You know you're fired. You're right. I secretly knew our lives would be in danger and thought, hey, I'll make sure I trap Mark with me inside an elevator. Excuse us. Stay with me, Haas. I'm sure there's more fun up ahead. Oh, a mix. We stirred up a hornet's nest, kid. Can we get in here? Yeah. Well, maybe not. Use your PKE. I am. Sudden movements. Okay, it sure got quiet all of a sudden. They're in the fence! They're in the fence! Boson darts make quick work of them. That's really helpful. Gosh, there's so many of them. 
getting backed into a corner. Typical sugar high. Good shooting. What was the screen? Night and shining proton pack time. Man, I like these boson darts. It's much easier. Oh, oh, good lord. Chunks of the building missing everywhere. You are required at the site now. So happy to be in demand, but these sugar balls have got me nailed down. I can't get past them. They're disgusting. And they're unhealthy. Ah, uh, did I mention there's a spectacularly beautiful lady in distress? I'll be right there. <laughs> Showtime. No! Somebody help me! Easy now, miss. Just relax. No sudden movement. You're perfectly safe now. Sudden oh. movement! Sudden movement! <laughs> Oh, sorry, Ray. Shot you right in the face. Out, kid. What a view, huh? Manhattan. I love it. Nothing to worry about, folks. Let's make sure she's not possessed. You're good. Okay, y'all waiting on me? Dr. Van you're fine now. You didn't spill your coffee, did you, Peter? Ray, I got coffee for all of us. But the little monster spilled it. And what's the story with those things anyway? What? Was that a manifestation of ghosts? Uh, yeah, probably. It just may be. I think. Would you like to take the most direct route out of here or the scenic route to its latest choice? There's a stairwell over here. Let's go. Ooh. Yeah, Grace under pressure. I appreciate that, in a way. Okay, Slugger, let's you and me do this quick and quiet before Tubby Soft Squeeze out there figures out what we're up to. I think Tubby Soft Squeeze has dog ears, Ray. I was about to say, if I remember correctly, this ends on a roof, so I'm pretty sure we, we're okay. not getting Let's down. Think. What did people do before stairs? Was it ladders or just jumping from rock to rock? We go up then, to the roof. Well, hell, oh, Stay puffed, spotted us. Move, move. I'm just pulling out the PKE meter just to see if there's any artifacts I need to be scanning. That way. Well, that's so Come on. Let's go. Stop. 
Where's the other one at? Oh, there he is. I don't like it when the ghosts have guns. He's gonna jump right on the rooftop, isn't he? Oh, oh. I thought so. Get his attention. That's how you do it. Great job, you guys. Ha! Three scores for everybody from 54th Street to 5th Avenue. Happy huh. Thanksgiving. Here he goes. The big evil sailor all the way to the Oh! Not quite. Didn't make it. Hey, Ray, say three guys the size of your finger knocked you off the side of a 30-story building and you had to climb all the way back up there to tear them apart. How, how mad would you be at those three little dinky types? I'd go with Mighty Pissed. Uh -huh. Okay, and throw in a sugar high, too. That giant blue and white toy man thing, or whatever, is still coming. It's climbing the building. Thank you. That's exactly what the Peter story, just said. Considering his complete lack of bones. I wish I could see him. This is the one where they hold me over the side of the building. I remember this. Hey, did somebody tell you? Oh, I fall over it. Okay. kid, we've got you. Well, as long as you're down there, would you see if you could knock off Mr. Sweetness? Thanks a lot, Peter. Sunshine, are you okay? You're all strapped in. We've got a good tight grip on your belt. Here he comes, the big daddy manifestation himself, a raging blob of densely packed marshmallow. Oh boy, melt him, chief. Give him full screen. He's right, rookie. Your health insurance doesn't begin for another 89 days. Huh. More of those minis. How many can he generate? From 200,000 square feet of solid marshmallow? What are these things? They look like shark heads or something. Those on guard should do the trick. Is that Got him. What do you think? Right in the mouth. Sa 
I'm trying. Hey, look, you guys could probably shoot some too. Now, one of you's got to hold me, obviously, but. Can't last much longer. He's taking way more abuse here than he took in the first movie. Alright, one more. Oh, I thought that would do it. go you killed my dessert scoreboard reads ghostbusters 2 gozer the gozerian zero looking like a real big leaguer out there champ great peter we're in position the trap is set we're prepared to capture stay pop where is he he's that white puddle you're driving through timing's off by just a hair egon but we're glad the trap is working again God, do you do you realize how hard it would be to get the marshmallow off of this these buildings? Life. She's clean. <laughs> how do you feel? Pretty good. All extremely weird things considered. So far, just another screwed up day at the office. You know, I never forget a face attached to all the rest of that. I think we met earlier at the Sedgwick Hotel. <laughs> you gave me the sideshow chicken drop. My name's Alyssa. Dr. Alyssa Selwyn, and I am Dr. Peter Reichman, and that's C. Egon, Sir Ray, Winston, and uh, you met him. Uh-huh, the Ghostbusters. Have you ever been involved in this type of quantum temporal rift event before? A quantum what? It's called arcing, a large pulse of psychic energy. Actually, yes. I was at the museum. A pulse of blue light surged through the building and then i was standing outside a room on the 13th floor of an old hotel the sedgwick the sedgwick doesn't have a 13th floor it was pulling me like a magnet i felt as though i was in a deep dream i came to and ran over here here it's a temporary office while i'm in town i came to do some research after i woke up We'd like you to come to our lab so we can run some brief tests and ask you more questions. Here's an easy one. Would you like to go out for Thai, Mexican, Japanese? Wow, Dr. Venkman. <laughs> that time you almost won 45 seconds. I wonder why they didn't include Dana or, to or Lewis in this game. I mean, I guess they probably just couldn't get him back for the voices. I assume that's why. So you know so much about Gozer because... Because I'm a specialist in ancient Mesopotamian cultures and architecture. Sumerian primarily. Gozerian more specifically. I'm here as a guest curator for the Gozerian exhibit that's opening tomorrow at the Natural History Museum. You are aware that we also have some history with Gozer. Yes, of course. Gozer was a bush leaguer before he met us. A strictly farm team deity. We put him on the map. But our getting stiffed on invites to opening night, just an oversight, right? I don't have anything to do with that. That, gentlemen, was all me. And I can assure Walter you Peck. it was not an oversight. Oh, by the way, you have visitors. Thanks, Janine. You're a first class lookout. Walter <laughs> Peck. I did not recognize you without the mayor's backside attached to your nose. Okay, everybody put them back in their stibbies. <laughs> Apologies. Uh, Dr. Selwyn, are you all right? So this is a, a new mayor. I'm worried about the exhibit. In uh, this game, voiced by Brian Doyle Murray, Bill Murray's brother. He was also in Ghostbusters 2 as the guy the doctor who worked at the the mental ward 
where they had the Ghostbusters. Uh, in a familiar form, one he had used before, the the mental ward they had the Ghostbusters put into it towards the end of the movie. Also from Caddyshack, also from National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. He's been in a lot of uh, really good movies, iconic movies. Listen, here's the deal. You and Peck and all you guys are going to work together. What? No way, no how. Impossible. Look, this city has given you at least a dozen contracts for the jails, courthouses, and wharves. You guys want to grow your business. Get some county and state work, too. I'm all for it. You've been big supporters and great for my campaign. Well, some have said our endorsement is what got you elected. But not out loud. Anyway, after all the damage you've been causing lately, the city council wants you under close supervision for a period of no less than... So I haven't really said anything about it. I don't think much this whole game, but the music being in the background, that just makes a game. You know, that, that just makes this... It makes it feel like Ghostbusters. It's one of the things I love so much about Ghostbusters Afterlife, the music. It's just not the, the soundtrack. The soundtrack's good. I don't, I don't even know if, I don't think there is any soundtrack in this, it's all score, but, um, besides maybe the, the theme song, uh, but, the first Ghostbusters movie, second Ghostbusters movie, and Afterlife, score and soundtrack, just makes all the difference in the world, and it's really good in this game, Elmer Bernstein's score, I don't know if they've added anything to it for this game, but, come on. It's great. It's mulligan to you, Venkman. So, we have an understanding? This kind of protects us all. You want more government business. I want to keep my approval rating. And Peck wants his little fiefdom. You play by the rules. Easy. We all get what we want, and the city council gets what they need. Okay, big night tomorrow, Alyssa. Get some rest. So, now that we're all friends, can we get invites to the museum opening? Not likely. But I'll be seeing you soon. You can count on that. Doesn't Peck look exactly like the kind of guy who'd accidentally walk into the stream of a boat and glide it? I'm just saying, it, it could happen. Ghostbusters, what do you want? All right, we'll see. We can schedule a visit, um... Let me check out the... Thursday? Firehouse here because I really haven't yet. Slimer. Got old Vigo the Carpathian here. I've got you down for this. I am Prince Vigo von Hamburg Deutschendorf. Oh, it won't be necessary to call before they arrive. I am Vigo the Crow. You'll know it. Vigo the Torturer. That'll be fine. Interesting. Goodbye. Firehouse looks great. check out the upstairs I'd like to see how it's different from um, spirits unleashed now this down here looks pretty similar um, rather than the slimer traps here and the uh, the Vigo painting and then some, there's some stuff over here that looks a little different of course part of that is just time I know um, just the how you know maybe the the firehouse changed over time but in spirits unleashed these lockers are moved down to like here-ish i think maybe a little bit more down and then the stairs i believe are shorter Hello, and then there's a door right here that goes out to raise a cult which i'm i'm assuming just got moved and and that's not you know i, I don't think the game is canon so it, it's not really a big deal, but just interesting. Now that little door with that little closet is in Spirits Unleashed. Um, see how the upstairs is different. I can immediately see that it's different because there's windows right here. These windows are not in Spirits Unleashed. Yeah, it looks... There's like a room back here in Spirits Unleashed, I think. The pool table. Uh, let's see. Like the stairs. Yeah, I think this, the stairwell there is shorter. You do have the video games and all that. 
this room exists, but it's Eddie's like little office. The bed and beds and stuff aren't here. So the layout's quite a bit different between the games. It's interesting. And um, I think in the actual, the L.A. firehouse where they use the interiors, here's a fun fact for you. Um, there's a third floor that you don't necessarily hear much about or hear anything about. And that's where they filmed the opening to Ghostbusters 2 with the, the birthday party was the third floor of that building. What about Peck? He's supposed to be informed of everything we do. What he doesn't know can't hurt us. Hey guys, you need to make a detour. Something big is going down. It's on 1010 Winds now. Tune it in. And another ghostly sighting had staff at the New York Public Library scrambling for answers. The Gray Lady. Let's get her for real this time. The Public Library. Oh. What about the museum? It's been there for 104 years. Where's it going to go today? Um, this thing you guys have for the great lady borders on the wheel. You know that, right? She made us look like schmucks. Not this time. Oh, and another thing. Pat called and says that I'm required to tell him where you are and what you are up to. Tell him he can meet us at the museum. We'll be there eventually. New York Public Library. All right, guys, I think that's where I'm going to call it for today. Um, we'll do the library on the next video. I really wanted to get through the Times Square and the Stay Puft level. So um, it was fun. That's one of probably one of my f more more of one of my favorite levels in the game was the Times Square one. I love being able to walk this, you know, the nighttime city streets of New York and then the fighting stay puffed is all really cool. So yeah, I had it. I had fun. It was a blast. Um, again, you can check out the podcast on where, you know, whatever pod podcast platform you listen to, uh, check out some of my other game videos on the YouTube channel. And we have Ecto one radio, the first episode up now on the YouTube channel. Episode two is coming next Sunday. So looking forward to it. Um, if you're a Ghostbusters fan, check that out. If you're not or you are but a fan of other movies, check out the podcast. So we have a lot of stuff um, going on there. All right, guys, this has been Ticket Stubs and Cassette Tapes, and we'll see you next time.